So how to wreck the meta with Blau. Dodge is a deck that focuses on getting advantage by um, making sure your Blau Vanguard hits and pluses off of that by either Vanguard or Sanding, searching your deck for more Blau's, or just pressuring your opponent to make them use all their resources. So we're going to go over how this deck can still compete and possibly even top in, in the upcoming regionals th this fall or even get top it. Just depends on you, the player, how well you want to play it. The main deck's win condition is Galaxy Blaslinger. He boasts a solid 11,000 base power and his effect is Limit Break 4 when your Vanguard or Rearguard with Blau in its name attack hits a Vanguard, Counter Blast 2, discard 2 Nova Graphers from your hand, and choose him and then you're boosting him and stand him. This ability can only be used once per turn. And of course if you have Stern Black Cougar in your soul, which you don't play usually, he gains 2k, so he's a cross ride. But um, he gives your whole front row to the Dragonic Overlord the end skill, meaning if it hits a Vanguard, you could stand him. You could stand your Vanguard. And it's like, you guard my Vanguard, alright, good luck guarding my rear guards. And it's Limit Break effects, so you can combo with the Limit Break Enabler, which to never grapple with Limit Break Enabler is a Beast Deity Frogmaster, which I will put up a picture of. Frogmaster makes it so your Limit Break is active as soon as you ride Galaxy. So, meaning you could use the Limit Break even if your opponent's still at grade 2. Now, let's say after baiting your opponent down with Galaxy, you don't have anything else that you can use in your main deck. Have no fear, Victoplasma is here. Um, Victoplasma is a stride unit that restands after he attacks. So, you counter blast to G Persona Blast, he gains the red text ability. Um, oh, he also loses drive minus one, so he goes to twin drive. But he gains the red text ability after he attacks a vanguard. Um, choose two cards from your hand, discard them, and he will restand for a second attack. Even though he only gets twin drive, it's pretty solid. But the problem is he's a minus in card advantage. He's a minus one minimal. But um, he gives you a guaranteed restand. And but take note, Blau, Blau Nova Grapp and Nova Grappler players. He requires another face up G unit to use his skill. So you need to have GB two, including the G zone. And so you have to string in once before you could use his effect. But that is basically your Blau deck win conditions. Uh, now let's go on to some First, let's start off with Mon. Mon is really the only viable Blau build that I see right now. Stern is still good, but Mon I just feel like is the better build because it can explode, which is mainly what the game is about these days. But Mon Blau Cougar is the break ride for Blau. So when a Nova Grapple unit breaks on the top of this unit, it gains plus 10k power on this skill. When this unit attacks a Vanguard, Counter Blast 1, stand all of your rear guards, even the boosters. So it makes it so, but remember, you, the, the Galaxy's Limit Break can only be activated the first time a Blau unit hits a Vanguard. So you have to attack with the rears to rears and then attack with your fans stand up. Or, the plus 10k is nice so you could just even attack with your Vanguard first if you really wanted to. But... He's very solid and he's still limit break. So, yeah, he's a pretty good card and I recommend him as your back. Are you worried about not riding Mond or Galaxy turn 3? Have no fear. Morgan Mott is here to save the day. So, counter wrestling when your Vanguard with Blau in its name attack hits a Vanguard. And you get to look at the top three cards of your deck and search for one Blau among them, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. He doesn't go to Soul, so he stays on the field. If you, and if we could keep him from being retired, um, he could really help you get some early advantage going. And since all the blast skills aren't Generation Breaker Legion restricted, they can be used as early as turn two. So you could even, Blouse is one of those few decks that you could even play the Great Lock game with. But Blouse have a perfect guard that you could search, a main combo card, the grade threes, deck thinning is deck winning, <laughs> 10k vanillas. Yeah, I'll just I'll show them all right now. Now you know you must have noticed that the Blau deck is super counter blast heavy. That's why we have cards like Cradle Claydol Mechanic, 
um, since all the grade twos and threes um, most likely will be blau, you could use the grade ones and zeros as like a utility for the deck, meaning it's so you could run anything to help support your goal. And Claydol Mechanic, when he's called on rear, he unflips damage, allowing you to get back your counter blast for basically just a call. We also have cards like Red Lightning, which can be put into the soul to unflip a damage. Um, getting an extra card in your soul is also very beneficial for another card most blow decks run. It's called Energy Charger. It's a Luckbird clone where you, when it's called to your soul blast to draw one. Um, so yeah, Red Lightning and Claydol Mechanic is usually what you're going to see. Some people run Lady Cyclone. I used to, I don't anymore, but that's another deck profile. <laughs> so yeah. You guys are probably wondering why I didn't talk about Mars Black Cougar yet. But Mars Black Cougar deserves this whole segment. So Mars Black Cougar's effect, for those of you who don't know, his effect is Auto Rearguard. Counter Blast 1, when your Blau Vanguard's attack hits an opponent's Vanguard, um, you may pay the cost. If you do, stand this card and he gains 5k. Note, he doesn't have to, he doesn't have to be stood to gain the power. But Mars Black Cougar is the MVP of the deck. You could his power stacks, and in combination with cards like Final Wrench, you could stack even more power. I have gotten Mars Black Cougar up to 54k in real life and 49k on camera. I'll leave a link to that video below. But Mars Black Cougar, um, each time your Blau Vanguard attack hits, you could use the skill. And since the G units and um, inherit the name of the heart, so they'll stay Blau. Uh, meaning it, you could you could um, use it even if your G unit hits, so you could stand the booster and then stand Mars. And without triggers, that's a 26k column if you use Vic 10. Um, so yeah, you could even use Morganrod with G units too. Yeah, and Mars Black Cougar, I have gotten three attacks in a turn with him. In combination with Cool Hank and Final Wrench, he was able to hit huge numbers. So yeah, he's the he's the MVP of the deck and the early rush card of the deck. And the combination with Blau Cougar, which is a grade two on Vanguard Circle, it could unflip a damage, which I showed a picture of earlier. You could combo you could get multiple effects off counter blast. But that's a whole nother video. It's a combo video. Comment below if you want to see a combo video and I'll gladly go over all the different combos. How does this deck wreck the meta, you might think? Well, look at all the different meta decks these days. Meta is usually what's commonly played, so let's talk about Shadow Paladin, Aqua Force, um, I want to say Gear Chronicle, but you guys get my point. All of these decks rely on striding. These decks were, all of these decks rely on striding, so you could rush them. You could rush them to make sure all their resources are gone early so they'll have a hard time putting a field down when they have to stride. Shadow Paladins, you kind of have to be more careful than some other matchups. But Blau's combo with Mars, Black Cougar, and Morgrot could generate early advantages for you. You could rush them at grade 2, play the grade lock game to, pre to prevent your opponent from stride slash legioning. And yeah, because every time you play with Blau's, when you swing, it you gotta try and make it the final stern. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like my new series that I'm going to start on this channel called Wreck the Meta. It's going to feature a whole bunch of underrated decks on how they can wreck the meta. <laughs> but a lot of guest uploads too, so be sure to watch out for your favorite Vanguard too. We're making a guest appearance on this series. Two are scheduled to come in sometime soon, and I'll contact whoever you want to make a video. Just comment below who you want to see with what deck and I'll be and I'll see what I can do.